Yes, 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 yes. Certainly at the moment, in short, I am rather worried about the authenticity. Um, by nightfall, Meaden has officially declared the Barbary Castle circles a hoax. In fact, after studying this and other complicated formations, Meaden now suspects that only the very simple circles are genuine. Fellow expert George Wingfield doesn't see it that way. I believe these are symbols which act more on our subconscious rather than on our conscious minds. I think that these things will probably change all of us in due course. The message will eventually dawn on people who are still resisting it that we are now dealing with some kind of an intelligence. This completely blows out of the water. Dr. Meaden's theories of atmospheric vortices, natural phenomena. This is something completely new. If you look at this formation from the air, there is no doubt about it that this exhibits intelligent design. There's an intelligent design behind all this, and it looks to me as though this one is probably human. There's no reason, I think, no reason whatever to think this is a hoax. Who would you suggest did it if it was done by humans? Uh, nobody would be able to answer that sort of question. Uh, it would be somebody with a motive who wanted to play tricks on both you and I simultaneously, perhaps. And quite frankly, I mean, even if you had an army of men doing it, they would not be able to produce such a neat pattern by any known means. Oh, this is fun, huh? Meet the Wessex skeptics. A group of scientists and friends from Southampton University. They are testing various methods to see if they can make what some say only the gods create. For the moment, at least, this is only a test. They aren't trying to fool anybody. Yet. Unless people object, we'll do these by trampling. So, all committed to memory, I want you to destroy these instructions. People have made the claim that these things can't be hoaxed. So, I'll be thing to do is to see if they can. <sighs> yeah, let's get the middle bit, why not? We'll flush the animals to the center. I think we surprised ourselves in how easy it was to make a reasonably good looking crop circle by the simplest imaginable method almost, which was just trampling the corn down. So I think we've learned, yes, yes, you can do it. I think we also can see some ways of improving our techniques a bit. Perhaps nothing more than getting things like larger shoes. Let's go. Come on, man. Really, the, the, the acid test would be to hoax a circle, not have anybody know that you've hoaxed it and have it declared genuine by the experts. They have mastered their craft and perfected their trampling techniques. At last, they are ready. Tonight, under cover of darkness, the Wessex skeptics will make a circle right about here. At last, captured on special night vision video, a crop circle forming. Of course, this one is forming with the help of the Wessex skeptics. It okay. takes less than four hours and goes off without a hitch. Okay, there's one little hitch. Witnesses. The problem was that we were discovered, and consequently word got around very quickly that it was a hoax. It was therefore inevitable that people would go into that circle with uh, the, a pre preconception, knowing that it was a hoax, and would therefore be able to pronounce it a hoax. We'll never know if they would have pronounced that circle genuine if they hadn't known that we'd been there. Yeah, looks, a bit, uh, looks a bit damaged, this. I don't... Um... Oh, I've got a funny feeling about this one, Colin. Do, do we... People presumably came here yesterday. Yeah. Colin, 
Do you know what I think? Yes, I do. To be honest with you. Oh, oh, no. Not good. Not good. Oh, no. Oh, oh. I've got some... Got the vibe. Oh, I've got some bad feelings about this. Yeah, it's something it's telling me that there's something different uh, to what we expected. At this point, it looks very, very suspect. It certainly does. I mean, all this... Um, there is a beginning and a construction order in the, in the circle itself. There's a lot of feet here. My eyewitness account says it's a natural phenomenon. Of this great cosmic fish, both it may be alien. This is not meteorology. The plasma vortex is a spinning mass. Uh, I'm Dave Chorley, this is Doug Power, and we are the two people that have created the crop circle. Corn circles come down there like spot worlds. I mean, I might as well believe the Santa Claus did it. All we have is back. Uh, you have to believe it. Something very odd is going on here, something very, very strange. What's more outrageous, the fact that there is other intelligence that they're attempting to communicate in some way, or that we are the only intelligent beings in this whole vast universe. The best one can do as an honest man is to look at the evidence as it is, and interpret it as best one can. If it's something like flying saucers, that's super. But what is the evidence for this at the moment? There really is none. Though I'm prepared to listen. If it's there, I'll find it. A thousand theories over a thousand summer nights. But when summer winds to a close, what happens to these great cosmic circles? The evidence is harvested, but the mystery remains. Whether they're made by the wind or by UFOs, and even if every single one of them is a hoax, how do we explain the hold they have on our imaginations? The crop circles are telling us something. And it's probably something interesting.